Hello everyone, Celtic Fairy Tarot back with another pick a card reading and today we're going to be getting into your current energy. What is your current energy? And at the end of each reading, I am going to be doing an ink blot uh, for you. You guys loved it in the last reading for pile three and I'm here for it. <laughs> All right, we have pile one. We have pile two. And we have pile three. Take your time, vibe out which pile is calling to you and the timestamps are down below. Can't wait to get into it. Hello, pile one. You have chosen photo number one. And the first thing right off the bat that I'm feeling in your energy is you're feeling aloof. Like there's this uh, mysterious aloof energy, but I'm also feeling a very uh, on defense and observant energy. Uh, it's reminding me of, I don't know, like feeling hyper vigilant feeling hyper vigilant, paying attention to everything around you, paying attention to what people are saying and what people are doing uh, very deeply. Yeah. You may not be talking so much right now. You could be really kept to yourself. It feels like something is going on where you're trying to survive. You're, you're trying to survive something. This could be physically, this could be emotionally, uh, but it just feels like mysterious, aloof from the outward perspective and from the inward perspective, it feels very hypervigilant. Let's see, let's get more information. spirit team of pile one can you please give me some insight into the current energy of pile one thank you all right we have birthplace of dreams pursuit of goals belief and possibilities can we have more insight thank you we have forest, dense canopy, nature sanctuary, forest floor, and we're going to pull one more. One more, please. What is the current energy of pile one? You know what it feels like um, with these two cards alone? We are going to pull another one, but it feels like you've had some sort of turn in terms of how you are viewing yourself, how you are protecting yourself. That could be that defensive energy that I'm picking up on. Maybe you've gone through life people pleasing quite a bit, or you found yourself uh, really seeing how it is others treat you, how it is you found yourself in certain situations that make you uncomfortable or don't align with you. And you're really starting to understand there's just a lot of reflection and a lot of evaluating. The forest is like, it feels like, like a vision quest or like being out there alone and really processing things that have happened, things in life that have taken place. Maybe a lot of your life went by really quickly and, you know, you were in survival and you were just making decision after decision after decision on impulse or uh, with what you were given, right? And now you've, you've realized and recognized a lot of the patterns that you've fallen into. I don't know, but it just feels like, like I woke up. I all of a sudden woke up and I'm seeing my life for what it really is. I'm not seeing it through the eyes of the unconscious anymore. I'm not seeing it through these rose colored glasses anymore. I'm really actually viewing the people around me, the situations I've been in 
and I, I don't like what I'm seeing. That's what this feels like. And I'm making that shift and it's a difficult shift and it's a lonely shift and it's an isolating shift, but it's a shift nonetheless. And so you're just kind of at this point where you're observing. We have birthplace of dreams. You're understanding what you want out of life now. You're understanding your inner child more. You're understanding where it is you want to be going versus where it is you have been. And so you're trying to protect your energy, protect these goals. You're looking at yourself in a very different way than you've looked at yourself in the past. You're believing in yourself. I'm hearing that song, Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For? What was I made for? This is a very like, I don't know, I feel like an earthquake under my feet. Everything that was is being like, I don't know, shaken up. And you're just trying your best to kind of stay steady in that shakeup, right? You're not wanting to maybe delude yourself anymore with people or situations. You don't want anybody in your life now who, who makes you feel obligated, right? Like no guilt trips, no peer pressure. You're really evaluating who's in your life and what's in your life. And you're, you're thinking about your future in a very different way. At one point in your life, pile one, there was very low self-worth. There was very uh, low belief in yourself. I can never do that. And now you're seeing, yes, I can. <laughs> and so your dreams are getting bigger. Your goals are getting bigger. And as your dreams and goals get bigger, you are faced with navigating through that, moving through that. Can we have one more card, please? Some insight into the current energy of pile one. It's like, I'm seeing someone sitting in a room and they're with a bunch of people that they're normally with. And normally they would tune out or they would just you know haha everything's great happy to see you but instead of doing that now this individual you pile one you're really watching you're really listening you're really understanding the core of these individuals or these situations or these environments rather than just kind of existing in them right thank you yeah, we have forest cabin, secluded retreat, cozy fireplace, remote getaway. It just feels like, again, you're very, um, you're very isolated um, in terms of energy at the moment. You're not giving people too much. It feels aloof. If I was on the outside looking in at you, uh, I would feel like you were kind of tucked away inside yourself very mysterious, very aloof. And what's happening internally as you're tucked away inside of yourself is you're reevaluating a lot. You're reevaluating a lot. Yeah. Where you've been, where you plan on going, things that have happened to you. It's like where in your life, the subconscious mind has ruled all of your decision making, where you go from here. It's not that way anymore. <laughs> you have taken the reins back you have taken back control like i said i equate this to like waking up again after a very long sleep and just you know like when you wake up you just kind of look around at your surroundings and you're like where am i <laughs> what's going on you're like recalibrating we're now gonna pull your ink blot for you Okay. All right. 
there it is. And the purpose of the ink blot is to allow your subconscious mind to decipher what it is you see. Everybody is going to see something different, uh, leaving your mind open to interpretation. Okay, so just take a look. Try to figure out what it is you see and you can look up the symbolism for whatever it is you see and this will give you some deeper insight into where your subconscious mind is at. All right, pile one, I am going to leave that here. I wish you the best of luck on your journey and until next time, bye. Hello, pile two. You have chosen photo number two. And the first thing that I'm hearing tapping into your energy is, oh, no, 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 no. I can't be bothered with that. <laughs> I can't be bothered with that. I'm also hearing that song uh, from Oliver and Company. Why should I worry? There's just this energy of like, I've given most of my life to other people. I have focused on other people. And right now, I don't really care. I don't really care. I want to focus on me. I want to focus on my needs. I want to focus on how I'm viewing this, how I'm feeling. You could be a Libra pile too, or have Libra somewhere heavy in your chart because it feels like you are constantly in, what is it? Analysis paralysis. <laughs> constantly overthinking things, especially in terms of how you show up in the world. Pile two will go out into the world and, you know, someone will walk up to them and be like, you're a unicorn. And pile two, you know you're not a unicorn, right? But you'll still evaluate it for the next three months whether or not you're a unicorn. <laughs> so there's this energy of like analysis paralysis that you're stepping out of. You're at the point where you're like, I don't care. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Think what you think, feel what you feel. You just don't care anymore what people think of you, what people are saying about you, how people are projecting onto you. You're like, yeah, I don't care. Not my problem. <laughs> Beautiful energy. Let's get more information. It's like, here I am. Also, don't mind the ink. <laughs> we'll get to yours soon enough. Um, but yeah, you're just like, here I am. Here I am. Take it or leave it. <laughs> and you you also have a better understanding of who you are. So that is becoming less shakable, right? It's not as easy for people to come in and project onto you and get their own way anymore. It's not it's not as simple. <laughs> All right. All right. Spirit team of pile two. Yeah, yeah, the Fae are with you strong here as well. Yeah, they are. <laughs> All right, Spirit Team of Pile 2. What do we need to know about the energy of Pile 2? Can you give me some insight into the current energy of Pile 2? Yeah, what should I worry? <laughs> All right, we have coffee house, coffee, tea, artisanal brews, and pastry indulgence. And we have place of reminiscing, nostalgia, memory, sentimental, childhood reflection. Yeah, you've been taking time, okay? Like I'm seeing someone at a coffee house trying to write a novel on their life. Like you've been really evaluating your life. You're like pile one like a year from then <laughs> you're like pile one extended <laughs> but it's like you have been doing a lot of analyzing of your life a lot of analyzing of yourself you're realizing the difference between the projections of you and who you actually are and you're getting to a point where you're not participating in the coddling of delusional people anymore you're not participating in the you know coddling of people who are trying to project onto you. You're not sitting there going, I have to defend myself. You're not sitting there going, you misunderstand me. Allow me to explain myself. You're just like, okay, bye. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. 
right? There are people all over the world that will project onto you and want you to change yourself because of their view of you or because of their projection of you. They will want you to drop your boundaries. Um, there are just some ugh, people out there, <laughs> right? And you're at a place where you're like, eh, I can't be bothered with that. I cannot be bothered with that. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, you know yourself. You know yourself now better than you've ever known yourself. Can we have one more card, please? What is the current energy of pile two? What is the current energy of pile two? Yeah, I feel like in this moment, you're like an educated, like you're a narcissist worst nightmare. <laughs> at the moment yeah we have art exhibition creative showcase curated gallery yeah like listen <laughs> you're looking at yourself in in as if you're art right you're looking at yourself and you're like i understand that these people are projecting onto me art is subjective right so anyone in the world can walk up to any piece of artwork and each individual person is going to see something different based on their subconscious mind kind of like when we do our ink blot in a minute <laughs> your understanding that whoever comes up to you this piece of art right and decides to judge or project or um you know presumes to understand you your intentions who you are in the past you could have overthought that like you could have been in that you know analysis paralysis where you're like am i that or am i this am i that or am i this now you're like oh that's just your perception of me <laughs> that's not actually who i am and it took a lot of work to get here so your spirit team is saying congratulations yeah you're you're not who people project you to be and you're finally grasping that you're finally understanding that in a really profound way there's stability here there's roots with your soul your physical being your mind you're more stable emotionally mentally physically now in this moment than you ever have been in your life yeah i really feel that overthinking overthinking so much over analyzing you know, people could convince you, even if you have the best of intentions in something, if someone's offended by you, you know, maybe you're somebody that mirrors uh, the shadows in other people and they become offended by you. You could be like, hey, you know, I was just existing. <laughs> I'm sorry that offends you, but, you know, I was just existing. Uh, and, and I happen to light up your shadows or what you were trying to hide sorry that offends you but that's not my problem that's where you're at now in the past you would have been like am i the problem <laughs> no <laughs> no you're not the problem the problem is the individual trying to hide whatever it is they're trying to hide right yeah and you have the best of intentions you're like hey i don't know if you know you're doing this or not <laughs> but you're doing this and they'll you know get upset with you and they'll project onto you and they'll be like, you're just trying to hurt me. No, I'm just trying to help you. But if you don't want it, that's okay. Give it back, <laughs> right? Wow, beautiful energy. All right, we're going to pull your ink blot now. All right. Actually, I wanna do this, I don't know. Let's make a mess. Why not? <laughs> All right. Close it up now. All right. All right, here's your ink blot, pile two. 
we're leaving this open to interpretation what it is you see uh, from your perspective with your subconscious mind and whatever it is you see whether it's an object um, or maybe some some people will see a deity I don't know um, you can look up the symbolism for whatever that is okay and that may be a whole separate message for you from your spirit team and it may even give you some insight into your own current energy where your subconscious mind is at okay beautiful all right pile two i'm gonna leave that here i wish you the best of luck on your journey and until next time bye hello pile three you have chosen photo number three and by the feel of your energy pile three you're a little bit lost in the woods um yeah you're a little bit lost in the woods and i'm hearing that song by brian adams uh sound the bugle from the movie spirit it feels like you know how in the movie spirit spirit is taken out of his environment and he's kind of held captive somewhere um, I'm not saying you're physically held captive somewhere. Um, you feel you may feel emotionally held captive somewhere or something like that. But it just feels like you're you're trying to survive an environment you're not aligned with. You're just trying to find your way. It feels like you're you're lost. It feels like you're lost. Like you thought this was the right path for you and now you're kind of standing there and you're like okay i'm at a crossroads i could go this way that way this way or that way and you're just trying to hone in or tune into your instincts you're trying to find your way you're trying to navigate a situation that feels really confusing and it feels like you don't necessarily align with it your energy is wanting to repel the situation let's see there's a part of the song specifically that I keep hearing echoed over and over again. When you lose yourself, your courage soon will follow. When you lose yourself, your courage soon will follow. So what your spirit team is saying is don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. You may be lost, but it doesn't mean you have to be lost within. You have your inner compass. You know what you gravitate to and what you don't. You can still find your way back. You're not stuck in the lost if that makes sense you can navigate back you know what energy you're feeling repelled by and you know what energy you're feeling drawn to follow that trust that all right yeah i'm seeing someone um like find their way out of the woods by looking at the moss on the trees yeah like there are survival ways of getting out of the woods when you're lost and you're trying to hone in on your instincts. You're trying to figure it out. What you have to do is trust yourself, trust your body, trust what feels right, trust what doesn't feel right, and follow that. Okay, let's see. All right, spirit team of pile three. Can you please give me some insight into the current energy of pile three? Thank you. We have lighthouse, guiding light, symbol of hope, watchful sentinel. Yeah, you could be even praying right now um, to the deities you work with, to whoever you pray to. Like, please help me find my way. It just feels like lost at a crossroads. We have museum artifacts and exhibits, interactive displays, museum collections. And we also have fuel station, refueling stop, convenience store, and charging station. Yeah. Your soul has this idea of what makes it thrive what makes it comfortable what makes it feel at peace what makes it feel challenged in a healthy way right and wherever you're at now is not that it just feels like you're in need of 
motivation. You're in need of encouragement, which could be why, again, you know, you're praying, you're looking, you're seeking for that guidance. Yeah. I feel like what your spirit team is saying here is like you have everything within you to motivate yourself, to encourage yourself. You haven't lost hope yet. You're just at this point where you're like, where am I? What happened? Right? Like, how did I get here? And how do I get back? With fueling station here, it just feels like, again, you need some motivation. You need some encouragement to keep going. If you lose yourself, your courage soon will follow. Don't lose your courage, pile three. Don't lose your courage. Don't lose your hope. Don't lose your belief in yourself. Because like I said before, we can all get lost in the woods, but you can find your way out. You don't have to be lost forever. You don't have to just let, you know, the situation be. How do I say this? Like, you don't have to succumb to this situation. I'm seeing someone lost in the woods and they just sit down and they give up. Don't give up, pile three. Don't give up to these circumstances. Don't conform to these circumstances if that's not what you want. If getting out of this, you know, energy is what you want, how can you see a way? Little by little, step by step, what can you do? What can you shift? Where can you walk away when that's what's needed, right? What can you remove from your life if that's what's needed? In what different direction can you walk if that's what's needed? Follow that inner compass. This energy makes me feel good. I'm going to follow that. This energy makes me feel empty. It makes me feel numb. I'm not going to go down that path, right? Use that compass. You've got this. All right, pile three. We're going to do your ink blot now. And I've been making a gigantic mess, so don't be surprised if I do it again. <laughs> We're all okay. All right. All right, there is your ink blot pile three. Everybody is going to see something different depending on their subconscious mind. And that's what this is designed for, uh, to give you a little bit of insight into where the baseline of your subconscious mind is at. What do you see? Can you look up the symbolism of what it is you're seeing? what you see will give you a better understanding of where your subconscious is at so if you're seeing horses google the symbolism of seeing horses in an ink blot and it should give you something some kind of insight into what is going on within the subconscious mind all right pile three i'm gonna leave that here i wish you the best of luck on your journey and until next time Bye.